Tonight we're learning that the man shot and killed in Walnut Hills came to the United States from Liberia 32 years ago to escape civil unrest. Ironically, violence took his life here in the States where he came for refuge. Nine News reporter Amy Wattis is live in Walnut Hills Stand now by. with reaction from his wife. Amy? Holly was on his way to NNI Market to buy himself a lottery ticket here and his wife some cigarettes. Now, store employees here say he came here every night after work, but as of last night, his wife became a widow. It is crazy. We've been married 27 years, and for him to come, you know, and be here and lose his life because somebody else can't get theirs together, that's crazy. Arletta Colley stood outside the front door of her house, still in shock at the death of her husband, 57-year-old Coleman Colley. Pictures of their four children and granddaughter hang on the wall of their living room, including a picture of a happy couple no longer. All she wants now is for the shooter to come forward. It's not good. It's not good for him to keep running. You know, he, he was bold enough to shoot. He should be bold enough to produce itself. Police say Komen was just an innocent bystander caught in the middle of an argument taking place on the 800 block of Buena Vista Place around 6.30 Monday night, just doors down from his home on the same street. And my brother, he was coming home and he told me, um, he the one told me that my husband was the one that was shot. And I told him, no, it wasn't him. He went to the store. He said it was him. Komen usually took this back alley to get to the store. For some reason, he took a different way down Buena Vista that put him in the line of fire. His family will always wonder why he took a detour. It's a lot of support. A lot of his family, a lot of my family. And Colley was taken to University Hospital where he later died from his injuries. Right now, police are searching for the people that they think might be involved in the shooting. Now, if you have any information on this crime, you're being asked to call Crime Stoppers at the number 513-352-3040. Amy Wattis, 9 News, live from Walnut Hills.